Okay, hopefully this is the shortest recording out of the bunch, but we'll see. Charlotte Corday, uh, she's always been kind of the little mess. She wasn't that bad, but like her third skill made it like the most one of the most gotcha gotcha skills in the game. Before, like obviously Ellie's was worse, but this wasn't that much better. Pretty much, it pretty much just didn't take away your gauge. And that's the only reason it was slightly better than um, Ellie Chan's. All right. We don't care up here. She's a one star. You're not going to be grailing her to 120, most likely. Um, and yeah, she's like, we're talking about a one star that isn't the Reagan. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how far we'll actually get on it. Oh, wait, Sargen, normal assassin numbers, MP charge 0.52%. And she has decent hit, hit counts. He may be a one star, but she came out in like around singularity. Uh, sorry, not singularity. Lost belt four. So it's not like I'm talking about like Kiyohime that has like dog shit hit counts. You know, Charlotte has good. It's just she's a one star. You have to put in so much work for her to actually do damage. Five extra, uh, five hit extra attack is nice though. First skill, insta kill success, 100% chance up, and two attacks, three turns of dodge. Uh, I'm forgetting her. Okay, yeah, uh, well, I'll go through the whole kit before I come back to this, because I just want to double check base chance. 30% uh, attack buff for one turn, 20% debuff resistance for three turns, and ignores invincibility for one turn on a six turn cooldown. Not a terrible skill, but that, not that good either. I think Dante's has this too. Or at least Determination of Steel, yes. Yes, he has the EX and he has it as, at the highest values, but it's essentially the same skill. Yeah, and Charlotte's the only one that has uh, that one. But they're both French. That's why, it, that that is something I noticed. Both of them are French and they have this skill. So it might be a term in French. I'd have to look that up. Here's a skill buff. Before, like I said, RNG chance, which one you got? And as we went through the kit, he doesn't have anything to really do with crit. Like, sure, an attack buff, but that's about it. So if you got the crit buff, you were kind of just shit out of luck because she probably wasn't going to be critting in the first place. Also, also she only has one buster card. If you got the arts up, uh, no, that was best case scenario. If you got the MP damage up, uh, you better hope you had your MP that turn. Otherwise, you just wasted a turn. Or you have to use a command seal. That's not as big of a problem now, because we can use three a day. But still, you shouldn't be planning that you have to use something once uh, once a day to be able to, like, use it effectively. Not even, like, once a, once a run, once a day now the buff you get to choose which buff you want uh, this is what it should have been from the get go uh, getting all three would be absurd absolutely not this would be the most actually cracked fucking skill Th this would almost be competing with summer BB's uh, battery because that also has MP damage and a card buff and that's also a 50 battery this but only choosing one and a 20 star bomb it makes it much more reasonable it's not mozart but it's like a 20 star bomb for one star passive six percent star gen you're gonna unlock all of these eventually and she's not really someone that matters that much i will say though uh if you do get the skill cooldown it does mean that you only have one turn of downtime for this so any kind of skill uh, cooldown reduction, you will have, if not double stacking, 100% uptime. Okay, MP. Removes enemies, dodges, activates first, pierces defense, and a chance to insta-kill them. So, if you use Assassin Shiki like I do, 
This is the same shit. He has the same chance to kill insta kill as Assassin Cheeky. The difference is Charlotte doesn't have a battery. So any nodes like I use Shiki in the Storm Pod node for QP and insta kill farm. Uh, if you have problems getting your battery back with Shiki, uh, it's going to be literally like you, you have to go through even more hoops. You have to go like Shiki have that 30 battery. So she are and mana loading. So she already had to get 50% up from somewhere else. Uh, Charlotte, if you get mana loading, still has to go for 80. So if you were having problems uh, in skill farming with Shiki, you're gonna have even more problems with Charlotte. Now, if you don't have problems with battery at all, like you use plug suit to charge up your Shiki, if you do it with Charlotte, it's not going to be that much of a difference. Uh, their party cost is just gonna be different. But that said, are you going to choose Shiki to do your insta kill farming or Charlotte? That really just depends on like party cost and like what you're trying to farm. But in most cases, people are probably gonna choose Shiki just because Shiki's easier. Uh, mats, he's a one star. Even the gold mats, you're not gonna need too many of them, like three for one skill, four for another level. Uh, yeah. That's the good thing about one stars. Even if they need super common mats, you don't need that many of them to max them out. And for some of them, you don't need to max them out, like Jason. Like his skills don't really help him with what he does. Uh, others like Spartacus, because Spartacus can black rail loop. Or no, sorry, she, he can't black rail loop. He can normal Buster farm like double bitch Oberon uh, with a 50% CE. So that's going to be fun numbers to look at later. And Bond CE. Party crit damage 25% while she's on the field. This buff was good. Um, but I'm not going to convince anyone to pick Charlotte over anyone else. That's not happening. Uh, now she's more usable, but do not grail her to 100 and then expect miracles. Just don't. All right. I'll see you next in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.